Nestled between industrial properties and the Clackamas River, there resides a humble patch of land with a creek running through it, which was formerly farmed and managed by the Carley family for more than 50 years. Now 97 years old, Silvio Carley has since sold his property to Clackamas County Service District Number 1, which is managed by Water Environment Services. Mr. Carley had owned this property for the last 50 years and farmed it and raised his family there. And I know it's, it's just in working with them and getting to know them better through this process, it's very clear this site is near and dear to his heart and to the whole family. So it's really, it's been a wonderful experience to work with them and to see the future of what this site could be. As it stands today, the secluded property remains a lush and vibrant ecosystem for a variety of species. However, recent stormwater sampling determined that Carley Creek stormwater has some of the worst water quality in Clackamas County Service District 1, containing high levels of copper and other metals that are common within industrial runoff. Given what we see in the water quality and how bad the water is, it is surprising that there's so much habitat and there are fish that are using it given all the industry that's around and all, all the pollution really that's in this area and it's still this gem of a spot within the Clackamas Basin. With plans to develop and install a stormwater treatment facility at the former Carley Farm, Water Environment Services' goal is to treat the stormwater runoff that makes its way into Carley Creek before it enters the Clackamas River to improve the quality of the water for both public health and the environment. So the plan right now is to divert the stormwater flows before they get into Carley Creek and divert them down into the basin through a new stormwater pipe and then that pipe will discharge the majority of the stormwater flows, the high flows, into a uh, water quality treatment swale. Um, basically we think of it as a large rain garden that will provide the water quality treatment then it will naturally infiltrate back into Carly Creek in much better quality than it currently is now because right now it just discharges directly into Carly Creek. So we hope to take that direct discharge out and have it naturally infiltrate and flow in. So it's really in everybody's interest for us to improve the water quality and use this site to its full potential. With a long-running relationship with the industrial neighbors at the foundation of the Carly property's history, Water Environment Services plans to maintain a good neighbor relationship to provide an exceptional example on how economic development and environmental management can work together to achieve a unified goal. What's next is we are moving into full design for the water quality facility and the in-stream restoration piece. I think this is just the start. I think this project, once it's completed and once we get our surface water and the water quality treatment pieces established, we're very interested in working with parks and Clackamas County Development Agency to provide long-term um, public access to the site. It's just, it's a great benefit to the county to have um, the access to the Clackamas River. Industrial development and a pristine Clackamas River. While a creek runs through it, that same corridor of life, which holds both a vibrant economy and a diverse ecosystem, continues to contribute to the overall health of the Clackamas River in the past and into the future. <laughs>